Well, over in my world, um, today is Festival in Animal Crossing, which is pretty darn cool. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, it was something they teased, I think January 28th was the last update, and they teased this event was going to happen. Um, and it's something that's happened on Animal Crossing across, you know, several versions of the game. And um, it's, they've been selling things in uh, Nook's Cranny, like um, there's been a confetti cannon, and drums, dance um, platforms, like all kinds of stuff that you that support festival and each island had their own color scheme that you could buy in Nook's Cranny. And you also go buy festival clothes, which would look very sparkly. And there was a hat and a uh, headdress kind of um, thing you could be wearing. And uh, so yeah, today's the big event festival and Pave showed up today. And Pave is a multicolored, um, peacock and it's very very fancy very beautiful um character and your neighbors are all dancing around the, the music has changed there's confetti falling from the sky it's, it's a really cool thing i wish this was more than one day and um but pave is in your square and you go to him and um or you go to pave and you ask them you know like the first i guess uh pave uh, critiques your outfit if you're not wearing festival gear which is pretty hilarious i guess there's whole like reddit threads of just pave roasting people which is pretty amazing and um but yeah you do some things you collect some feathers that are floating and uh bring them to, to them and pave creates other items uh like the same festival items in different colors depending on what color feather you give them there's also rainbow feathers which he gives you the recipe for and then if you give him a rainbow feather he'll create those items with a rainbow motif like i have now a rainbow uh confetti uh cannon and the last thing is they ask you for three rainbow feathers and it builds a festival float and this thing is gold and shiny and interactive and you can just dance beside it and it's pretty darn cool and um yeah there was also some reactions that you uh, could buy in nook's cranny there's the throw confetti i think um, there's a couple dance ones but it's really really fun it's it's really cool to see and um like i said i wish this was more than one day but you have till 5 a.m tomorrow morning to do this if you haven't had a chance to do this yet and uh but yeah so much fun and just the colors are awesome so i've had a pretty fun day i, <laughs> I, did this I really i really like the in the one image it's like the guy with the almost looks like a, some kind of net but his suit mm -hmm. looks awesome it's like blue and white shimmering coolness yeah that's one of the festival outfits you get and um the other character the bunny looking character who's kind of a little bit creepy with their blank stare <laughs> Um, that's uh, she has a blue sparkly dress on. It's like a spooky looking gingerbread bunny. It, <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'll have to send you. Um, I just got a new neighbor, um, Pietro, and Pietro is it looks. It's a clown. It's I think it's a sheep. It's a clown sheep, and it's hor It's both horrifying and hilarious at the same time. So I'll have to send you all a photo or bring a photo for next week so you can see my new neighbor, which is both creepy and hilarious. Because <laughs> there's some folks on Animal Crossing, some of these characters, your neighbors that are just like, whoa. <laughs> do they just move? Like, how does how does your neighbor get assigned? Is it just random? Well, you, so when you first, you build their houses and they will, they'll randomly start showing up. Um, like I think the first one, and then you can visit other islands where there is another character. Like if you, so the max number of neighbors, I believe is 10. And um, if you have an opening, you can go visit, um, you get buy a plane ticket essentially, and you go Nook Miles ticket and you go visit another island. And there's usually somebody who's quote unquote, like a neighbor vacationing there and you talk to them and you can, after you talk to them, you, they might say, well, this is great. Island living is awesome. And if you like them, you can invite them to live on your island. So you can kind of shop for neighbors, which is fun, especially when you have a lot of nook miles where you can visit, go to island to island, you know, you can spend several islands or hours visiting different islands um, to find your perfect neighbor. Um, mine happened to be at the campground that I have on my island and I convinced them to stay. Um, but usually I like, kind of leave it up to random <laughs> to see what um, the Animal Crossing Island gods give me. 